Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part three of our series of session on the interest calculation feature. In this session, let us understand how we can set up the interest calculation for non-trading account. So what are non-trading accounts? Like for example, you have some loans or you have an OD account. If you want to cross verify the interest levied by the bank, you can set up interest calculation for these non-trading accounts and check what is the interest that is applied by the bank and what is the interest that is charged in tally so that you can reconcile the interest amount. So let's go to tally and explore this option of non-trading account interest setup. Let us take the example of a loan account. Let us say you have a term loan and you want to apply interest calculation for that term loan. So I'll go to alter since I've already created this term loan ledger. So go to alter and then select ledger and I'm going to select HDFC secured loan enter and we come here for interest calculation and set this to yes y for s and enter and now you have this parameter and if you notice that when we were enabling interest calculation for trading account that is ledgers under sundry debtors or you can set up for sundry creditors also as i mentioned but in this case the option of calculate interest transaction by transaction will not come for this non-trading accounts because we have not enabled billwise detail for these accounts but if you enable billwise detail for these accounts then you have the option of transaction by transaction but it is irrelevant in case of these non-trading account even if the billwise detail is yes ideally you should not select calculate interest transaction by transaction since this is a non-billwise detail ledgers you have these two additional options of include transaction date for interest calculation one for amount added and the other one for amount deducted what is this option now by default this option is yes the option here is if you say include transaction date for interest calculation for amount added if you say yes that particular date even though the transaction has happened will be considered for interest calculation so when would you do this as yes normally if there are any additional debits that have been passed by the bank or any extra charges that has been debited to your loan account then you want to add that as part of your interest calculation and for amount deducted again the choice is you have to cross verify with the bank that is applied interest and you can accordingly set it to yes or no first let us do one thing let us make both this option as no and then see how the interest is getting calculated so i'm going to set this option as no enter again this option i'm going to set as no enter now here is where you are going to set up the interest parameter the rate is 10 percent so we'll take this 10 percent for easy understanding of the calculation now here we will discuss this in detail in the upcoming session. So you're going to say calendar year and on what balance you want to calculate interest. So normally on the credit balance is what the interest is going to be calculated. The other options we will discuss with the use cases in the upcoming sessions. Enter and now it says from what date to what date you want to calculate interest. Let us say this loan gets over by 30th of November. So you want tally to calculate starting from 1st of April till 30th of November, you want tally to calculate interest. After 30th of November, interest will not be levied even though if there are any balance outstanding. Normally the balance should become zero, but tally will not calculate interest beyond 30th of 
November. So the rounding off we have already discussed and the rounding limit we have already specified. So I'm going to press Ctrl A to accept the screen. And again, I'm going to press Ctrl A to accept the Ledger Master alteration screen. Now let us go to the report. You can use your secret number three, Alt G and type interest. Okay. So you take this ledger interest calculation. So we are going to select the particular ledger and see the interest calculation, how tally is calculated. Select this option and press enter. Now if you notice, we had set up interest calculation for two ledgers. So the ledgers, wherever the interest calculation is enabled, it is getting displayed here. So you select HDFC bank and then we said that don't include amount added or deducted. So if you notice here, so it is taking the calendar month. Okay? Even though if you notice at the bottom, there is the ledger extract for your reference. So even though the payment is made on 30th of April, the installment has been paid, but still tally is considering 30th of April for interest calculation. All right. So that's the option what we set it as no. So this is how it is going to calculate month on month on the reducing balance it is going to calculate. If you notice here, the balance outstanding is 74,000 and the current period for this company is 21st Jan. At the bottom, if you see the ledger extract for the month of November, the installment payment is not made, but still on the balance amount, tally is calculating interest only up to 30th of November. Even though our current date is January, it is not calculating as on date. Let us now go and change that option to yes for amount added and deducted and then we will see the impact of the interest amount based on the setting that we have done. So for you to, we are already in this report. So for you to alter the master, we need to go to the master and alter the option, the parameter part. So you can, you don't have to really press escape and then go back and then come into the report. From the report, you can click on go to and then go to alter master and enter select ledger and select the ledger secured loan and come to activate interest calculation and press enter and now let us make both this option as yes so based on the addition deduction it is it will, it will have an impact so we have deductions but we don't have any additions in this example so the rest of the parameter is going to be the same. So press control A and then save this by pressing control A again. And now press escape. And if you notice the total number of days as reduced again, quickly see the transaction here, which is the ledger extract where on 30th of November, the payment has been made. So it is calculated for only 29 days. Accordingly, it is now calculating the interest considering the credits or the payments made. Now quickly, again, let us see what was the interest that was calculated when we had set this option as no. So again, at the bottom here, if you see, this is the calculation that tally is done when we had set the option as no. And on top, what we are seeing here, is the calculation after setting the mass yes i hope through this session you would have understood that how easy and simple it is for you to set up interest calculation for your non-trading account and use this value to reconcile your interest charged by the bank and also the interest that is charged through tally normally if it is charged lesser it really doesn't matter. But then if they charge more, then you can always, you know, go to the bank and then get the reconcile done. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session with additional parameters under interest calculation. Thank you very much.